looking to get back in the win column themselves, themselves hosting Albion third inning, down one, and Kevin Cardently changes that with the long ball to left. His second of the season ties it at two. In the fourth, this time it's Ryan Davis. The blast to left, a three-run shot, caps a four-run inning for Adrian, and it's 8-2 Bulldogs. Pitcher Aaron Giarno, a season-high eight strikeouts through four and two innings. It's 13-3 the final. The Bulldogs improved to four and two in conference play. Yeah, I thought our guys came out today with a little, little more energy than we've had the last couple weeks. Um, just been trying to concentrate on playing good baseball, uh, good fundamental baseball, and limiting our mistakes. Last uh, week or so, the mistakes have kind of got us walking too many guys, hitting some guys, making a couple critical errors here and there. So we're just trying to clean up our game a little bit. Andrew Giorno uh, started for us, and, and that's what we got down south from him early in the season. And uh, he looked like he was back on form to what he can do. And then a couple real good guys coming out of the bullpen and, you know, threw up a couple zeros for us and kept us right where we needed to be. Greg Frankie it was a big and game for Adrian after they had such a great run to the College World Series in Division Three last year. They were picked to win it again this year. And they had some players that had great years last year that maybe weren't performing to that level yet this year. And they came out and had big games today. Kevin Cardeni with a big home run. Ty Peck had two hits. And uh, Gus Weeks had to come in replacing the top player on the team, Tommy Miller. He did a great job. Just an outstanding effort overall. Yeah, it's kind of like a, a get well day for the team, you know, that, that first game of a doubleheader. And uh, they had a tough one yesterday. Uh, they got got some rain and they, the game was suspended. And they haven't been able to play a lot of games consecutively. And they've got some big games coming up next week. So, yeah, this is a good springboard for them. This was the first game of a doubleheader. And I guess that's what makes the second game of the doubleheader even more important because it can't be a springboard board game if you don't win it. <laughs> no, that's, that, that's right, and what an advantage to get that first one under your belt. Uh, you've got the momentum coming into game two, and the other team has uh, you know, suffered through a tough loss, and so, yeah, this is this is the time where you have to t tell your guys, let's go out there and win two. Trying to win their third straight conference title. That team that won, made it to the College World Series last year, it was the first time since 2008 when they had three BCS and area players leading it leading them to that achievement at that time, trying to do it again this year. Adrian with a big win over Albion today.